friends and happy Friday. We are packed up. We've already taken everything down to the car. I've already dropped Brian off at that company today. Um, <clears throat> he's hoping that he will be out of there fairly early today, which is good. Um, last night he was out of there, what, like 5 o'clock or so, 4.30, 5 o'clock. Uh, so we actually had dinner fairly early. Uh, we were going to actually go see a movie last night, um, which is a movie theater that's right next door here. And uh, <clears throat> it was like 15 bucks a person to go see a movie. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, I don't think I want to go spend $30 just to go see a movie plus popcorn and drink. So that would have cost us almost 60 bucks to probably go do all that. Eh, wasn't like, nah, we can go wait and watch it at our movie theater, like on a Sunday for seven bucks. You know what I mean? It's like, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll catch it sometime. If not, we will catch it when it comes out on TV. Uh, but anyway, so today, um, <clears throat> As soon as Brian's finished, we're going to head to Tennessee. Um, we are going to be with my parents this weekend. Actually, my mom <clears throat> this weekend. We're going to be over there and uh, we're going to be meeting for dinner tonight <clears throat> at Mexican. And then um, tomorrow, me, my mom, my sister, and my aunt, we are going to go shopping. So I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, I haven't been shopping with my mom and my sister and my aunt in a very, very long time. So it's going to be very nice to be able to go do that. I hope my mom uh, woke up feeling better today. She has been very, very sick. Um, they said that she's kind of got colitis where she hasn't actually gone to the bathroom in quite some time. It could be very, very dangerous. Uh, she knows this. Uh, she's just stubborn and just like will not like... I don't know. She's taking it serious, but not taking it serious enough. Um, she does have two doctor's appointments on Monday, though. Um, but they also told her that if she this does not get better, um, that it could turn into sepsis, which is absolutely horrible. So we don't want that to happen. So, um, but I'm looking forward to spending you know this evening with my family, tomorrow with my mom and my sister and my aunt, and then Sunday we will be heading home and we are not leaving again. <clears throat> for a very long time um as of yesterday it looks that it looks as if my parents are coming to our house for christmas it's just going to be my mom and dad so it's just going to be the four of us for christmas so i'm hoping that that all works out i'm hoping that my my parents health holds up <laughs> obviously for them to make that trip to our house for christmas which will be very very nice i'll be very happy to host them for christmas so um, what I'm going to do here <clears throat> in just a few minutes is I think I'm just going to go down the, the front of Bridge Street here, which is there's where like an Old Navy is. There's an Ulta, Barnes & Noble. That's where Brian and I got our coffee last night. So I think I'm just going to run into Barnes & Noble really quick and see what they have. I need to change my sweater. Um, I'm wearing the one that I wore yesterday with my gray. Um, I need to get my gray sweater out. So I need to um, change my sweater and do that. Um, we're just still in the car. So, <laughs> and then, um, Brian wanted me to go to Walmart to see if I could find nuts for him. Cause I couldn't find any nuts yesterday. I'm like, Oh my God, you're driving me nuts about your nuts. That sounded funny. But anyway, <laughs> and then last night, I don't know, about 1130 or so, finally fell asleep, dozed off, got into a nice deep sleep and Bones, Thugs and Harmony shows up next door. I mean, we're talking, it was like club loud music. I'm like, what is this? At 11.30 at night, people talking, door slamming. I hear I'm thinking, this is kind of like a nice upscale facility. And why is there a bunch of racket going on next door? Wasn't sure about all that. So I'm just like, so after about 20 minutes, and I let it go on for that long. I probably shouldn't have, but I let it go on for that long. So about 20 minutes or so, I really thought I was going to wake Brian up, and it didn't. But anyway, after about 20 minutes or so, I finally got up, and that connecting door right over there, boom, 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 boom. I was banging on that door, and then finally they turned it down. But they didn't, they didn't turn down their voices or anything, and they didn't tone down the, like, slamming of the doors and back and forth. Out. I'm just like, oh, my God. What is going on? It was like, what is this, prom night, homecoming night? All these teenagers, like, you know, run a room next door or something? But anyhow, 
finally that subsided. I'm thinking about one o'clock, finally, things kind of just like quieted down. So that was a good thing. So I was like, geez Louise, am I gonna have to put up with this all night long? Cause I wouldn't have, I would have called downstairs and I've been like, look, did you guys let Bones Thugs and Harmony in the hotel? Because it is bumping over there. Is there a prom going on? Homecoming going on? Like I am up for some really good music. They had some really cool music going. I'm all up for that, but not 11.30 at night. This old gal needs her sleep. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know who it was. I have no clue who it was. But this is, like I said, it's kind of more like a, this is more or less like a, a very businessy um, area. A lot of businessmen come in here, stay here, have meetings here. This whole area is about, um, <clears throat> focused on aerospace and NASA. So I'm like, I mean, not the NASA people can't listen to, you know, music that's thumping, like clubbing and stuff. But it was just like, not at 1130 at night. I'm just saying. But anyway, nonetheless, I'm just looking out in the parking lot right now. It's a little drizzly. It's chilly outside. They say it's probably not supposed to get about 53 today. So, um, <clears throat> about in the world oh my pillow fell off the bed I'm like what in the world's that about 15 more minutes and old navy is gonna open so i'm gonna be down there when it opens so i can be like one of the first people in there that went under wait in a very long line and then um yeah i'm just gonna wait for brian's text to come pick him up hopefully it won't be too long i mean i'm i'm expecting noonish so we shall see but anyway Yay, hang out with me today. I'm so excited. Tomorrow should be so much fun. We're gonna go to Opry Mills Hotel and walk around there. My aunt has never been there before, so it's gonna be really nice to uh, share that with her. <coughs> share that with her. <coughs> Brian and I were there, I don't know, several years ago, and we actually stayed the night there and then did the ice thing where you go through the ice sculptures. It was like freezing cold in there, but we did that. And I looked at the tickets yesterday to see if maybe me, my mom, my sister, my aunt will want to go do that. And that was like $30 a person too. And we're like, mm, yeah, no, mm -mm, we're going to skip that as well. So anyway, we're just going to have a nice day, like shopping, enjoying each other's company, having lunch. I don't know where we're going to go yet. I kind of thought about going to the reef. Not exactly sure yet, but we are going to be going to Opry Mills, like mall. So sugar, what is it called? Opry, Opry Mills Mall. Yeah, it's right by the hotel. So. But that should be fun. But anyway, all right, I've been talking for now eight minutes and I'm sure I'm boring you guys, but welcome to Friday, guys. Let's have some fun, shall we? Alrighty, guys, so I went into Old Navy, bought a few things. Uh, like, mainly I bought a pair of Christmas jammies for my Christmas party next week. Um, <clears throat> for my Christmas party at my house, all the girls are to wear Christmas jammies, so. That's what I bought was a pair of Christmas jammies and a cute little sweatshirt to go with it. Um, I bought another like little cardigan, which is super cute. I think I might wear that tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. And then um, I did just go to Hobby Lobby and picked up some of those like um, balls for my mom. Uh, I picked up some red and white balls for her tree. And then I picked up some like white ball picks for her tree as well. So I'm hoping that... Um, yeah, when I get there this evening, I'll be able to put those on or this afternoon or whenever we get there, I'll just be able to put those on for her and just kind of spruce up her tree a little bit more for her and hopefully hopefully she'll like it even better. But yeah, for the most part, now it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, so I think I'm just gonna head back to my room and hang out there. I'm gonna see if I can get my checkout extended till at least noon. I just don't really feel like driving around anymore and like doing anything. So I'm just gonna go back to my room and chill there for a little bit and see, uh, Make sure I can get that extended. So I will check, check back in with you guys probably um, later on. Like when I get to my mom's house or something. So, and I'll show you guys her tree. Bye. Alrighty guys. So Brian is still um, doing his thing. And I decided to come over here to Tzatziki's and pick up my lunch. So that is what I'm gonna do. I was kind of waiting for him at the hotel and I was kind of like just sitting there. I was like watching Nano 2 and 0. I was watching YouTube videos and uh, and then, you know, I was like, hello. <laughs> and he's like, it's still gonna be a while. I'm like, okay, well then I'm just heading over to Tzatziki's. So he's like, perfect. So I'm here at Tzatziki's and I'm gonna get myself my little chicken wraps and my little, little, dippy things in my tzatziki sauce or whatever because it's so freaking good and i was gonna come here yesterday but i went to my mom's house so i'm like okay come to tzatziki's today so 
yummy. I, I was gonna go in and eat, but I'm just like, eh, I don't feel like doing that either. So I'll probably just like find a spot to park at and eat this. I thought about just kind of going back to my hotel and eating it, which would still be fine because it's not like it's going to get yucky or anything because it's it kind of it comes cold anyway, especially the tzatziki sauce. So it's not like a big deal. So I might just take it back to the hotel and eat it there um, <clears throat> and just sit at the little table that I was sitting at earlier. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> I used to work right over here, though. Right back there, there's like these buildings. I don't know, you can probably see those there's like apartment buildings right there and then right behind that apartment building there is an office doctor's office and that's where i used to work sure did work there for three years that i lived here and so this is like the little area that i always used to obviously hang out at and then of course i fell in love with tzatziki's and we have one by us well in georgia but it's not close enough to me where i can go like enjoy food every day from there but anyway i'm gonna order my food and then i will check back with you guys a little bit later Alrighty, so i'm back at the hotel sitting in my little spot that i was sitting at before right outside the pool area but these are the chips that i get with the tzatziki dip these are little chicken roll-up thingies wraps that i get and this is the cucumber salad that i get it is so good this is like my favorite thing to eat i used to eat this all the time when i lived here and now i'm gonna enjoy it I got the text from Brian. He's ready to be picked up. It's gonna take me five minutes to get over there. I told him, so I had to pee first, so I did. So now I'm gonna go pick up Brian, but first I need to get in my suitcase and get out my cough medicine because I am like coughing really bad again. I need to pee. I have, I have to, to like, pee so bad. I'm having to like the, the crunch my legs <laughs> together just so I can. What, Hannah? That. I want to be part of the ice with it. Oh, we might need to help mom and Brenda up the hill. <laughs> They were hiking them. today. It just hurts <coughs> okay, so oh, me too. Oh, Hannah, you want to intro? Um, you start off. I'll come in. You just come in. Good morning and happy Saturday. <laughs> we are at Opryland. Well, Opry Mills Mall and Hotel. No, Opry, Opry Land. Land Hotel and oh, Opry, Opry Mills Land. Mall. Oh, yeah, Opry Land used to be the amusement park, though. Yes, but that's why it's called Opry Land Hotel. Oh. Did it yeah. flood? Opry Land Hotel. Yes, it did flood. No, well, a couple no, years ago. Flooded. Not the park. But, I thought it flooded when I was like two. No, see. <laughs> it was like a couple years ago. Well, no, it's been well, a long it was time. Since we lived in Huntsville. So it's been, it's been about 10 years? We lived in Huntsville eight years ago. Okay, so. <laughs> So, it's kind of cold outside too. Yeah, I'm freezing. But just a little tidbit of information. If everybody ever, if anybody ever comes, she has a padded bra, so she ain't nippling this morning. And Hannah almost wore a bralette, and she didn't. I know. Now watch, we're probably going in the wrong way. This is probably for ice. I think it is. It all goes this way. I know. We can go in and out by the hotel over there, right? how I remember it. We did the ice thing and that's how it was for. I don't know. But anyway, so that is the mall right there. And you can park right here and walk over to the hotel. Oh, there's a cowboy. Oh, cowboy. Yeehaw. Well, you are in Nashville, folks. Ah, we made it inside. We made it inside. So pretty. And Rudolph, and this is like the little bridge and the boat. Yeah. Isn't that cute? See, Mom, they have the boat. Told ya. Yeah, I love the boat. Go on, Hannah. We're gonna do it. Let's go. We're going through the Yule log. Oh. We did it! We did it! <laughs> oh, I was filming it, so we got it. I filmed it. With your back? 
Poor mom. There's a big tree. We gotta get more. Yes. It's always so fun. And there's the big Christmas tree. Everybody's usually in line trying to get pictures in front of the tree. But you can go over here. Watch this musical. Jingle Jingle. Bell, jingle, bell. <laughs> Mom, is this making you say you got a tinkle? No, I said I will before we leave here. Oh. Usually water makes you think. So go ahead, Hannah, point that out. Let's talk about the elephant in the closet. Or the elephant in the room, not in the closet. <laughs> Mom wears a size extra large here. Yes, we all know. And Except for her boobies aren't extra large. No. <laughs> Sadly, I have to wear padding to make it look like I have anything. She's a B cup. She's a B cup. <laughs> oh! oh That's so funny. <laughs> so funny. You're bigger than she is. Oh, what dang, are your yeah. Boobies? yeah, they, they both have bumps. You're like me then, honey. We just hide them. Bless. Bless them with the yes, boobies. The yeah, there's a big difference. Yeah. yeah. What happened to you, Liz? I, I didn't get blessed. The difference is like you guys did. My booty is a B, and yours is a double B. This is so true. She got the booty going. She got the big old butt. It's an asset. Well, it is an asset. <laughs> oh, bonsai. Bonsai. It is 119 years old. Oh. How about that? Aging pretty good, huh? Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, welcome That's aboard. how old you guys are. Welcome to My name is Dot. I'm going to be with two guys for the next few minutes. While you're enjoying all this beautiful scenery, taking Aww. pictures, I love taking him. a little bit about the river. The river is a quarter of a mile long. It contains 450,000 gallons of water. When we opened up this Texas in 1996, the hotel has sent out thousands of small bottles all over the world. <laughs> Of those bottles. Now we got some plaques over here on the right. They're black in color. They line the sidewalk all the way down to the dock. Oh, all the way down to the river. That can be in the water for a special ceremony. <coughs> There's a good uh, of the water. And all that water that was sent back to us. Yeah. Right behind the palm tree, yeah. all those windows. That is an exterior wall of the original Opryland Hotel mm. that was completed in 1977. Now that one right there started the whole thing for us with only 600 rooms, one ballroom. What we're riding on out here right mm -hmm. now was a parking lot. <laughs> they are. Look at those papayas. We got a couple of mm -hmm. olive trees across the river. Got one right there at the bridge, right beside the little bridge here there. Then I got one layers. right here directly in front of us. You know, it is difficult to grow olive trees on the inside. So, hats off to our horticulture. Well, we have added quite a bit. 
Okay. 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 So now we're outside of the hotel, which is right there. And now we're over here and we got some. Oh, Liz, there's that cowboy. That's who was that cowboy singing. What? That was a cowboy. He's up there singing. That's him. But now we're outside. They got like some food trucks. They got Old Smoky Mountain moonshine. You hear that? I picked up on some twang. I said moonshine. It happens when you come to Tennessee. Yeah. And then this is a little ice cream ring. Now that's fun. We are actually two uh, two thirds of a band called Ten Years Now. And so, uh, if you want to hear some original music from us, oh, you can always go online. It's fine. not on there yet because we're in the middle of recording it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it rolling and shoot. I'm driving my life away, looking for a better day for me. Of that. Who sings that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I know. Yes? Tell me, I forgot. Eddie Rabbit. Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about it. It's an Eddie Rabbit. Be sorry. Isn't that Veronica's brother? Veronica who? Jessica. Jessica. Jessica Rabbit? Not from Eddie Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit, that's from Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Wrong rabbit. Oh, she was being funny. Oh, we were in a day. Look at this. My life is live all the time. <laughs> oh, I like his little bear. He's so cute. How cute. So we are eating at the aquarium at the Opry Mills Mall and this is what the aquarium looks like. There's actually a guy in there right there. And they've got all these fish in here. Oh, really cool. And our table is right over here. We're sitting right over here. Don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but these are like the appetizers. This is the menu. Chicken and pasta, soup and salad, signature fishes, fish tacos. I am too. Seafood and steak. You guys don't ever have like this. And I have my sister here with me. My niece Hanny. My auntie Brenda. And my mommy. <laughs> My mom is still hurting. So for an appetizer, we got crab dip and chips. And then we also got calamari and 
There's like, a, the, um, what'd you say was in here? Carrots, like fried carrots and um, jalapenos are in here too. And it's very, very good. And they bring you like dinner rolls. Yummy. And this is our view with the little fishies. So Hannah, tell us what you got. A grilled chicken sandwich with fries and I'm pulling out the onions. <laughs> Awesome. She yes, she's pulling out the onions. That looks like a nice chicken sandwich. Yeah, it does look nice. And Bacon me, my sister, and my mother got blackened tacos. <clears throat> and Aunt Brenda, what did you get? She got fish and chips, which looked really good because I like crispy. Very pretty coleslaw. Very pretty coleslaw. It looks pretty. It looks very nice. I got it. <laughs> now everybody knows what we had to have for lunch today. This is where all these like wannabe Nashville stars try to make their yeah is the Santa baby. Good morning, friends, or should I just say early afternoon? Or is 11 o'clock still considered morning? Anyway, it's 11 o'clock on Sunday, and Brian and I actually just got home about an hour ago from Tennessee. And uh, we left quite early this morning. We got up at like 5.30 this morning from my mom's house, which is like 6.30 here. And we hit the road and made it home, which is so nice. So uh, we just came home and just kind of had a little bit of breakfast. And now I am running out to, one, fill out my car because my light is on. And number two, going to the grocery store really quick to... Um, pick up some stuff for dinner tonight. I think we're gonna make just like sloppy joes. So he wants me to uh, make sloppy joes for dinner tonight and then I'll probably have, um, he wants me to pick up some Fritos and I was probably gonna pick up some french fries or some tater tots, I don't know. What do you guys like with uh, sloppy joes? French fries or tater tots? Hmm, kind of curious. So I might do some tater tots and put them in my um, air fryer. So that'll be nice. I might just do french fries. Tater tots always get so mushy. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> and then um, when I get back home, I am going to start a load of laundry and get that stuff caught up and done and then um, start kind of decorating around the house. Obviously, I'm gonna make the Sloppy Joes and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So. Yeah, it was so nice to be home. It's so nice to be home, but it's also so nice to like, you know, go visit with my family or whatever. We had such an amazing time yesterday shopping in Nashville with my aunt and my sister and my mom. Like I said before, I think I said this before, um, my aunt used to take me and my sister and then of course her girls, which are my cousins, shopping every Christmas holiday. So, you know, my, my dad and mom would always give us some money to go shopping when we were younger. And so my aunt would always take us shopping and then we would buy gifts for you know mom and dad sister brother type of thing so um and back in the day too when we were all growing up um our family um which my aunts uncles cousins or whatever we had such a large family that every year we would actually draw names as well and um the kids would do draw names and i think the adults would draw names in their like you know category and uh <clears throat> we would have to buy a gift for the person that we drew the name for so that was always fun we always enjoy doing that so um, I just kind of remember doing stuff like that too. So yesterday was kind of like a, one of those traditions that we haven't done in so many years, but it was just kind of so nice to do it. Um, and it was just, it was nice too because um, it, was, it was just nice. I, I, we had a really good time. Super, super nice. I hated though that this weekend that I was in, I was unable to visit with my brother or my sister-in-law or my little baby ne my little nephew Lucas I, I hate that I did not get to visit with them at all but um, my sister-in-law is actually gonna be having surgery very soon um, she has some like you know personal female issues that need to be addressed so she's gonna be having surgery here in the next couple of weeks so we also kind of knew she wasn't feeling very well and I through I too had a very bad cough still do right now it's kind of like really nice um, and like suppressed right now but um, is suppress the right word? Anyway, uh, I didn't want to be around the baby either with a really bad cough because I want to love on him and I can't love on him if I'm coughing. So I don't want to get him sick or anything like that. So 
Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to run into Kroger. I'm going to get gas first. Run into Kroger and get my stuff. And I'll check back with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not bad. Did you turn the heat off? So I'm actually browning my ground beef. And then I'm going to put it in my crock pot and let it all cook for the day. And then we'll have this for dinner tonight. So making our dinner early, which is great. Alrighty, so I came in here and I decorated this Christmas tree. I just put all like red balls on this tree. Um, if I have any more and other totes and stuff, I might add more. I just like a very full tree and I just, I know I need to add a few more like over here on this side or whatever and maybe a few in the front, but I think for now this is what I'm going to settle with, but I think it looks really, really cute. And... Uh, this is what came in while we were gone. I had ordered two like ivory stockings to hang on the fireplace because I just love the way that these look on a fireplace. They're so neat. And I, excuse me, also ordered from Etsy like name tags that are going to hang from these. One that says Brian and one that says Angie on there. So I'll get these hung up on the fireplace this week. And maybe, I don't know if those tags are going to come in or not before the holidays but we shall see. But anyway, these are really cute. So I have these two totes. I have to take this stuff out these little snowmen and get those put out um put these probably like in a little jar or something these little balls uh but other than that yeah i'm working really hard and getting all of our stuff back out again um i ran to the store well you guys know i ran to the store really quick and got the stuff that i needed to make these sloppy joes and those are actually in the crock pot right now cooking so we'll probably have dinner around six o'clock maybe five o'clock and i'll put the uh, french fries in the um what is that thing called fryer no the yeah air fryer and then we'll have um those for dinner tonight so yeah but anyway i am doing laundry i'm getting ready to fold up some towels and just if, actually i'm not going to fold them up yet i'm going to put them in the dryer and then i'm going to fold them it's been a long day i've been up since 5:30 this morning tennessee time so anyway thanks for hanging out i'll see you guys tomorrow